Hello, welcome. And as you can see, once again, we're back in London for the Cycling Weekly Awards 2019 in association with Garmin. Now, tonight is one big celebration and reflection on what it's fair to say has been a stunning season of cycling. We're going to be recognising some of those key people at grassroots cycling level, right up to the elite ranks of the pro peloton. All these people make the sport what it is. There are plenty of young faces in the room, as well as some absolute sporting legends. So, let's see who I can find. Cycling Weekly has changed over the years uh, into what it is now. So it's been around now for 128 years. Um, next year will be 129th and we're really looking forward to that. And everyone, you know, everyone's either had their name in the magazine, their picture, or maybe a family member's, and it's always been around at home, just something they pick up and read. I actually remember having the Cycling uh, Weekly sent out to Australia and you had to wait to get your news. Like I've read Cycling Weekly since I was probably five or six, when my dad used to buy it. I remember in Cycling Weekly they used to do a, it was like a question or a minute with it, the back page, and I was like, when are they going to ask me to do this? They eventually asked me and I saw it, I was like, yes, I've made it. We've got a new award, we've got Team of the Year, we brought it in this year because we wanted to recognise those. Um, we also got the readers to vote for most of the awards. So all the riders, the editorial team selected a long list of about 10 people. We gave that to our judging panel that had Brian Cookson, Danny Rowe, Colin Sturgis and ourselves. And then the top three went to a public vote. So all the rider categories tonight were voted for by the public, our readers. And tonight, the Cycling Weekly Magazine Awards, they're, they're not just recognising the pro ranks, but the volunteers and the grassroots clubs as well. How important is that in your mind? Well, was a lot of the races back in Oz, when I was younger, there was a lot of volunteers, a lot of older older um, commissaires that did a lot of work for, for us and made sure that there was races. And I don't really hear about that a whole lot back in Oz now. Um, and, and they were a huge, a huge part of obviously why I am where I am now and why I got the chances to be obviously able to show off what I can do to the Australian team and, and then move on to Europe and obviously Olympics and et cetera, et cetera. So they're a huge, huge part and obviously it's great to be able to recognise the work that they do. Yeah, I don't think there's a rider here that, that didn't come through a club, that didn't have mums and dads standing on corners or filling out uh, forms handing out numbers so that's that's where it all starts that's where the passion starts that's where the love for the sport starts so well, people don't get the recogni recognition they deserve so I think nights like tonight is a great opportunity to sort of thank people for that well, what we have enjoyed this year it's an amazing set of results by young British riders, juniors and under 23, male and female. They've had outstanding results and we've had so many riders turn pro off the back of their results this year. As long as you're passionate about the sport and love what you're doing, just keep going because, you know, it, it will pay off. Firstly, what does it mean to have won the award here tonight? Uh, it's really nice to have won an award that's been voted by readers and uh, to show that what we do like day in day out is really appreciated. It's unbelievable to be awarded this, to be shortlisted was, was amazing. And it's just fantastic that, you know, Cycling Weekly have put on this marvellous night and it's a bit like the Oscars, isn't it, of cycling? So I'm thrilled to bits. Yeah, I'm really lost for words and after this season it's just like another thing that's just so special to me. And this award is for the whole club, our membership's grown to 317 this week, so this award is for every one of those members. It's great to get recognition, um, um, yeah, it's better to get it earlier than too late, <laughs> at least I can enjoy it. So to get the, uh, the, the all-time achievement, the, the Cycling Weekly one, uh, it's nice to get it when you're still very active and uh, I, I can cherish it for uh, hopefully many years to come. It does mean so much to a lot of people and it's a real honour and a privilege and quite a responsibility just to um, just be in charge of that and uh, I hope we, uh, people still enjoy it. It feels like it was much needed in our industry, Just to, we brought so many people together from industry, riders, and our readers, of course, um, for just a great night out in London. <laughs>